Okay, good morning people and welcome back to my channel. Happy you guys can make it back. Um, today I want to, oh, my TV is open loud. Hang one. Wait one second. Hang one. So now that I have that turned down, now we're ready to work. So because I ran out of my eyeshadow base, we're going to be using this base. This base is from Grafton Cosmetics. It is in the beige eye fix. Um, so I'm going to use this as my base before I actually go ahead and apply my shadows. Um, I actually got this in like a PR package. So, yeah. But it's not like a free, I mean like I'm not being paid to say this, so... Yeah, it's actually a product that I use, so I'm getting ready to use. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you guys know what I mean, right? Okay. So now we're going to blend that out. Blend this out. I'm just using like a stippled brush or whatever. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, like a stippled brush. And just to go in there and blend that sucker right on out. Okay. And you want to make sure that you're blended in like these inner corners, like that little crease or crevice right there. You want to make sure that you get in there because if you don't, then your eyeshadow will crease on you. And we don't like creases, mama. That's not what we going to do. Okay, so to start, I'm going to start with the transition shade. That's my palette. I probably should have had all of this ready, right? Before... Before I came on camera, I probably should have had this ready. Um, we're going to start with the Juvia's Place. This is the Warrior palette. Yeah, we're going to start with this color right there. And we're going to apply this as our transition shade. And we're just going to blend that. just want to make sure that you're bringing this towards the inner corner of the eye because if you don't so what will happen is you'll have this gorgeous eye makeup and then like this little blank space right there trust me I know it has happened to me several times it's not really cute so you just want to make sure that you just bring it in towards the nose And this doesn't really have to be perfect. Again, this is just the transition colors. So you can just, you know, slap that sucker right on there. Bam, bam. Quality day. Okay, so that's that. Oh, let me put this back before I lose it. We're going in with the orange from the James Charles palette, and we're just applying that up here to our low crease area. I never know, like, my eyes. Maybe I should look that up. I should probably hit that up on the Google. Anyway, whatever. Um, but I was saying that people are canceling James Charles and not using his palette. Let me tell you something. I paid my money dollars for this, so we are going to get my money's worth, period. I'm going to continue to use it until it runs out, and then I'm going to get another palette. Like, I don't understand people that buy, like, six or seven palettes. Like, y'all must be boiling. Because you think about it, like, $25 per palette or $15 per palette, whatever you're paying, and you multiply that by three or four palettes, like, ma'am, that's grocery money. That is, mm-mm. And then on top of that, most of these palettes have like the same color scheme. So it makes absolutely no sense 
for me to continue to buy all of these palettes when I'm getting the same exact colors. You're just buying the name. But don't listen to me because I'm on a budget. And if you can boil out like that, you boil out like that, okay? I'm just telling you what your girl, I can't afford that. I can't afford now it. I'm going in with these two colors. I'm going to start out with the lighter shade first. And then I'm going to go in with that darker shade to kind of deepen it up a little bit. I don't know what look I'm going for today. Y'all know, I just be dibbling and dabbling and hoping crap comes out the way it's supposed to. <laughs> um, yeah. Y'all know. Y'all, I'm like super late as always and um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna get my life together. Okay, so this is the lighter shade first first and we are just applying that all up in that crease area I'm doing a nice little build up on this Okay, it's coming. These checks is about to start clearing in 2020. I just, I feel it coming. I feel it coming. Yes. I'm going to bring this like a little bit in towards like that inner corner a little bit because like I just need this color to stay showing. with the darker shade first and I'm just going to apply it right here on that outer corner just right in that little area right there not really dragging it full throttle to the other side You just want to put it into the crease, but you also just want to keep it right here on the outer corners. Okay, I think, I think that is dark enough for me. Midget more. I'm trying to think. I think that's good. Um, I don't know if I want to cut my crease today. I've just been in like this phase where I just have not been cutting my crease, but I am going to do it today. I'm going to do it today. Because I need my eyeshadow to last all day and not be playing games with me. And I need it to look real crispy in them photos. So, I'm going to cut it, okay? Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Okay, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take care of that right now. Um, if I can find my damn brush. can't ever find nothing that I'm looking for when I'm looking for it. Lord. Okay, so we've already cut the crease. You guys know from my last video, I do not do full, full, full on creases. I do have creases. Um, so we've already done that. And now we're going to apply these two colors to the lid. This one and then this one. 
so I'm going to start off with like a little burnt orange color. Is it still recording? Yeah. I'm just going to apply that in there. That's the one thing I can say about Juvia's Place is I felt like it was made for black women or women of color because these colors just freaking pop. Like it does not take a lot. Like they just, they up in that thing. So that's one thing I can for sure, for sure say about Juvia's Place is that they did have women of color in mind. Okay, so I'm applying the orange. I'm just going to go over it with a couple layers because y'all know I like my stuff to be extremely bright. Although these are already bright, I just want to make them just like a smidget brighter. So just going over that. And now we're going to go in with the yellowish color. Okay, and I'm going to take, oh, that's a lot. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to apply it right there where there's that empty space kind of overlapping with the orange. Ooh, I kind of like this. I'm wondering if I want to add color to the bottom or if I should just smoke out the bottom. I feel like I should just smoke it out, but y'all know my inner extraness is saying freaking add color. I don't know what to do. I just, all right, every morning you go through this and you do not have time for your own shenanigans. Like you just, you don't have time for this crap. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. Make sure you guys subscribe and like my channel, please. Um, as soon as I mentioned going in with the green color, you guys should have known I was going to be extra into it. Although I do not have the time. Y'all know me, I just, you know, I'm extra for no reason. Anyway, you guys can get into this look. I don't know what the hell's going on with my hair this morning. My hair is just... Yeah, we're just going through some things this morning. Anyway, I am rocking the Kimmy Lash. Um, this is from my lash line, Ari Jane Beauty. They come in these beautiful little boxes. So go to AriJaneBeauty.com and make sure that you guys order. I love you guys and thank you so much for supporting me.